now we are going to uh, take picture uh, with Dr. Ahmed Salah. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it will be about the position of the Dr. Ahmed? Yes. Ahmed Salah, uh, uh, next, surgery, next lecture about positioning in surgery. Go on, Ahmed. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm uh, Ahmed Salah, a lecturer of anesthesia and ICU uh, in um, Castellani School of Medicine, Cairo University. Um, our lecture today is about the positioning in surgery, especially in neurosurgeries. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, our aim in positioning is to provide the, the best surgical access, but at, at the same time exposing the patient to the minimal risk possible. General complications of positioning, um, nerve injury, which we'll discuss it later, ocular injury ranging from mild discomfort up to post-operative visual loss, uh, while corneal abrasion is the most common injury, thus we need to make sure that the eyes are covered properly as early as possible after induction of anesthesia and avoid any pressure on the eyes. Pressure source in the dependent areas, especially the pony areas. Nerve injury, um, the etiology is 90% um, is epopathic, unknown etiology. Um, it may, may occur from stretch, compression, general ischemia, and metabolic derangement of the nerve. Risk factors associated with increased nerve injury include elderly patients, pre-existing neuropathy, and diabetic patients. The incidence is um, the most common nerve to be injured is ulnar nerve, followed by uh, peripheral plexus and lower limb nerves. Um, let's uh, brainstorm um, um, uh, before uh, discussing the positions. Um, what do you think about this position? Anything wrong? Take about uh, 10 seconds to consider. For me, yes, it, there's uh, uh, um, something wrong. Uh, first of all, head is rotated, putting the brachial plexus under traction. Um, excess abduction on the, uh, of the upper limbs uh, uh, above 90 degrees, putting extra pressure on the brachial plexus by the head of the humerus. Forearm pronation, putting pressure on the ulnar nerve in the ulnar groove. Now we'll get the different positions. First is the spine position. Uh, what are the physiological changes occurring in the spine position? Um, first, decrease in the functional residual capacity, decrease in the lung compliance due to cephalic displacement of the abdominal viscera. Uh, VQ mismatch with its ventilation perfusion mismatch. Um, uh, where the uh, dependent lung areas are uh, perfused well but not properly ventilated and the non-dependent ones are um, ventilated well but not properly uh, perfused. Uh, on the circulatory level, there is increase in the venous return leading to increase in the cardiac output. But in normal uh, uh, people, when attaining a a spine position from a standing position. This is opposed by the increased firing of some receptors, leading to um, minimal change in the hemodynamics. Sometimes there is a decrease in the venous return. Could you know why? Simply it's due to um, um, anything putting pressure on the IVC, like pregnancy or an abdominal mass uh, putting pressure on the IVC, leading to decrease in the venous return. Complications of supine position, there is a decrease in the tidal volume and spontaneously decreasing uh, patients. There is loss of lumbar lordosis leading to low back pain, um, maybe overload in heart failure patients, hypotension of the IPC compressed, as we said before. Pressure points uh, are the, mainly the occiput, heel, and sacrum. Um, sometimes it may lead to alopecia uh, reported in some patients. 
nerve injury, especially ulnar and brachial plexus. Uh, this diagram demonstrates uh, a, a faulty position on the uh, left side. The A diagram, uh, there is excess abduction on the, uh, of the upper limb, leading to uh, uh, pressure or, uh, by the head of the humerus on the brachial plexus, um, um, like the fulcrum effect uh, uh, used to be studied in physics uh, uh, while we were in the school. Uh, P position is a um, um, normal happy position, uh, happy patient. Uh, there is no uh, abduction uh, more than 90 degrees of the forearm, minimal pressure on the brachial plexus. This diagram also uh, uh, shows some um, uh, uh, wrong position uh, leading to pressure on the brachial plexus, which is downward displacement of the upper limb below the level of the, uh, of the body, leading to extra pressure on the brachial plexus and maybe neuropathy if later on. A P position is a, a, a healthy, normal position. Um, um, the third uh, thing that can uh, put a pressure on the brachial plexus is excessive lateral rotation of the neck to the uh, uh, contralateral side, making stretch on the brachial plexus. Um, if we are uh, obliged to do this, we can use a, a, a shoulder padding of the epilateral side to elevate the shoulder to release the stretch on the brachial plexus. Um, second is a trend print position, um, not commonly used in, um, in, in neurosurgical patients. Uh, so we will talk about it in a few words. Uh, surgical change as spine but exaggerated. Um, it, it may lead to increase the intracranial pressure, increase the intraocular pressure. So we don't love this uh, position in neurosurgical patients. Um, it uh, markedly increase the passive regurgitation um, and sometimes accidentally meniscus incubation due to cephalic displacement of lung hyla may occur. So. After attaining this position, we need to revise the position of the intracare tube. We'll not talk about lysotomy positions out of scope of uh, neurosurgical patients. Um, what's the problem with this uh, photo? I will talk from a scientific point of view. This excessive lateral rotation of the neck leading to compromise of the blood supply to the brain, leading to increased intracranial tension. So this uh, one, uh, um, uh, this position uh, is uh, wrong and cannot be used in our patients. Lateral position, this position is uh, um, uh, often used in uh, neurosurgical patients. Uh, about its physiological change, there is market decrease in the perfusion patient ratio in the dependent lung more than um, a spine position as there is a, a high pressure on the dependent lung and there is increased in the ventilation perfusion ratio in the non-dependent lung. Normally, these changes are well related except in compromised patients like ones who have uh, a, a lung pathology, chronic lung disease. Complications of lateral position, ocular complications, um, uh, like we said before, uh, ranging from mild discomfort to uh, post-operative visual loss from pressure on the dependent eye mainly, uh, nerve injury, uh, uh, especially to the brachial plexus. Um, uh, the way to prevent this is to uh, put an axillary roll just codal to the axilla. This uh, uh, help to uh, prevent pressure on the brachial plexus and help uh, decrease uh, the neuropathy later on. Uh, um, third complication is venous outflow obstruction of the dependent limb. So we advise to um, monitor uh, pulse and uh, saturation in the dependent arm and uh, 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 peripheral circulation. Um, uh, the one, uh, the photo on the left is, uh, I, I will show you the axillary roll. Its, its position is just coded to the axilla, not in the axilla. It, uh, it releases pressure on the brachial plexus. 
um, on the right side, uh, either gram is uh, a wrong uh, position as uh, uh, the forearm and the hand are um, uh, below the level of the body, which is uh, wrong and may cause congestion and uh, in, in them. A P position is a um, uh, the right position as they are on the same level, the, the whole upper limb is on the same level. Um, taking position, um, uh, this position is, um, is not used much these days due to its complications, but some old fashioned surgeons um, uh, uh, remain using it, so you have to know about its complications and its management. Complications are uh, hypotension due to venous pooling in the lower limbs. Uh, how to avoid these complications is by elevation of the level of the of the lower limb uh, to be at the level of the heart. I will go to the picture and uh, come back again to this slide. Just like this, here the uh, leg are elevated up to the level of the heart to prevent the venous pooling in the lower limbs. Back again. Um, Destruction of neck veins due to overflexion or overextension of the uh, of the neck. So we have to uh, be sure that the neck is in a neutral position, not uh, overflexed, not overextended. And we have um, a rule here is uh, to maintain at, uh, at least two finger breaths between the mandible and the sternum. Pressure points in this uh, position, um, uh, buttocks, ankle, Knees, so proper bedding should be done to these areas. Venous aerolysm, this is the most feared, especially in craniotomies, and could be fatal uh, complication. And this may be the one that limits the use of sitting position. Uh, why it is the most feared and why it, it happens uh, in this position? Um, uh, we use it in shoulder surgeries with. Uh, um, low, low risk for venous aneurysm. Why in craniotomies? Um, just think about it. Um, the answer is uh, uh, venous sinuses of the um, uh, of the brain are uh, well attached to the bones, so they are non-collapsible. Any injury, they will not collapse after injury. So uh, this permit uh, permits. Um, entry of the air into the circulation. Contraindications of sitting position, severe cardiovascular impairment, known right to left shunt, as this will, uh, with minimal air embolism, may cause a, 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 a huge comorbidity to the patient. To the patient. Intrapulmonary vascular malformations, uh, presenting with orthodeoxia, severe cervical spine disease may cause quadriplegia, advanced age as will not tolerate the hemodynamic changes uh, during attaining and during uh, uh, the whole surgery in sitting position. This is a good sitting position. Uh, 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 lower limb is at the level of the heart. Neck is not overflexed or overextended. There is um, proper bedding of the pressure areas. This is a, a one um, 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 life uh, setting position. Uh, the problem here is uh, uh, lower level of the lower limbs leading to conge venous congestion may be decreased in the venous return. Um, another point is uh, there is elastic stocking around the calf muscles, which is a, a, a good thing to prevent DVT. Um, and the better one is a pneumatic calf, if we can use it. Pneumatic calf uh, with its uh, uh, use, uh, it can be uh, highly efficient than the elastic stockings. Um, head up position, yeah. All the variety of spine positions. Um, uh, we, we love this position in neurosurgery. It, it has many benefits. Uh, 
um, decre- increasing venous drainage from it and make a decreasing possibility of regurgitation. Um, when we increase venous drainage, it could help to decrease intracranial pressure, intracranial tension. Uh, however, it had some complications, um, uh, maybe hypotension, uh, air emplacement, not, not like a sitting position, but uh, also a possibility uh, pressure points uh, as spine position. Prone position, um, um, a wide used position, especially in um, uh, spine surgeries and in fossa tumors. Um, its complications are um, uh, pressure on abdomen, pressure on uh, 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 organs, pressure on viscera. Uh, start to pressure on abdomen, it uh, leads to IVC compression, decrease in venous return. Uh, decrease in lung compliance, increasing the peak airway pressure. Uh, this decrease in venous return may cause uh, uh, oozing in uh, spine surgeries and discomfort of the surgeon. Uh, pressure points in, um, in this position are the eyes, nose, breast, in females, in Italian males, axilla. Uh, decrease venous return from um, head and neck if positioned below heart, below the level of the heart. Um, uh, if, the, if the head and neck are positioned below the level of the heart, there will be a decrease in the venous return leading to facial edema, especially if we take high crystalloid uh, fluids. These are the varieties of the uh, 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 prone position. Uh, uh, there is Relton Hall frame, Jackson frame, chest rolls, Wilson frames, kneeling position, Kneeling position is not used in your surgery and even in general surgeries. Um, uh, all of them may increase the abdominal pressure uh, to, a, to a significant uh, uh, elevation, uh, except the Jackson frame, which is not commonly uh, uh, present here in Egypt. This is a patient on um, uh, Relton Hall frame. Um, uh, if we take a look at the ventilators, peak airway is around 22, which is accepted in this position. This is the peak list for repositioning. It's very important to know it and uh, uh, keep in back of mind. Um, airway. We must check the intracare tube, the LMA. Uh, there must be patent in correct position after any change in position of the patient. Uh, breathing, ventilation, auscultating the chest of the patient and monitoring the duration. Um, circulation monitoring, uh, having all monitors uh, back on the patient, heart rate, blood pressure, ECG is still functioning and the reading are stable. Um, uh, pressure areas as in the eye must be closed and protected well. Exposure all cables and casters and throws not interfering uh, uh, with the field, not uh, causing any pressure on the patient. What do you think about this prone position? Do you see any uh, abnormality in it? I think this is an ideal prone position uh, as a face in, in soft head ring with no pressure on the eyes and nose. There is minimal neck flexion, shoulders with small degree of anterior flexion abducted and extended rotated to less than 90 degrees, putting minimal pressure on the precar plexus. Um, elbow are well padded, uh, no pressure in the axilla. The abdomen is free, uh, uh, helping uh, 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 ventilatory support well. Uh, maybe the only wrong thing in this uh, position is a uh, patient having a, a watch in surgery. Uh, we'll talk about uh, post-operative visual loss. Um, uh, it's idiopathic in 90% of cases. However, we have some precipitating and some predisposing factors could be uh, preventable. Um, precipitating factors like prone position, duration of surgery uh, more than six hours, blood loss after uh, 
uh, more than uh, 1,000 cc, uh, and the predisposing factor is a uh, debilitated patient, uh, diabetic patient, hypertensive, smoking, atherosclerotic, anemic. Uh, some patient with ulcerative colitis show uh, increased risk of post-operative visual loss uh, uh, more than uh, 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 normal populations. Uh, Pre-existing retinal disease, uh, of course. Uh, how to prevent it? Uh, uh, we need to minimize the duration of surgery to less than six hours. Careful position of the patient, not to put any pressure on the uh, on the on the eyes, and the, uh, uh, careful positioning of the head and neck, and to be uh, above the level of the heart. Uh, no overflexion of the neck, no overextension. Uh, 15 degrees head up if you can. This decreases the, the periorbital edema. Maintain blood pressure within 20% of preoperative breathing to maintain blood supply to the eyes. Uh, keep hematocrit value more than 25. And summarize and some notes about uh, these positions. If you can. Um, take two words about spine position so we can say protect the ulnar and tracheal plexus, avoid over uh, uh, abduction of the uh, of the upper limb, avoid pronation of the uh, forearm, uh, avoid the downward displacement of the upper limb, about rendering break position, avoid spontaneous breathing as this is uh, nearly impossible in, uh, in these patients. Sitting position, uh, avoid hypotension, keep central venous pressure high to avoid air embolism. Uh, keep the neck in the neutral position uh, to avoid any obstruction in the uh, venous drainage or blood supply to the brain. Um, lateral position, uh, um, stick to the axillary roll. to have a very good rule to prevent uh, pressure on the brachial plexus and monitor pulse in the dependent uh, arm. Prone position, avoid pressure. Avoid pressure, which is abdominal pressure, uh, uh, visceral pressure, uh, organ pressure, uh, pressure areas, uh, proper bedding to all pressure areas. I will show you some picture to show some little information uh, needed. Uh, this is a picture for arm tucking in spine position. Sometimes you need the arms to be uh, by the patients. Uh, so we, we use a draw sheet or a towel to, uh, to, be, to keep the arms uh, beside the patient. Um, we need to know that the left one is an incorrect uh, placement of the draw sheet as the draw sheet is be below the OR mattress, which is um, increasing the pressure on, on, on the arm and on the brachial plexus. The correct position is on the right side. All, all of them, be, uh, the two sides of the draw sheet to be below the, the patient directly. That's the problem with this photo. Again, from a scientific point of view, there is an overextension of the neck, which may cause impairment to the blood supply or venous drainage of the brain. And this is a scientific case of this uh, uh, photo. Uh, any overflexion or overextension would cause, may cause um, um, decrease in the uh, vertebral artery blood supply. Um, this is an uh, ideal uh, prone position, um, uh, no uh, um, neck flexion or extension, and the head and neck are above or nearly at the level of the heart. Uh, proper bedding, proper uh, fixation of the patient. Uh, this one was a real photo of the patient in, an, in the Castellani OR. Um, it was an emergency um, uh, operation. Uh, what's wrong here is the downward displacement of the uh, of the upper limb of the patient below the level of the body, leading to extra stretch on the nerves and may cause neuropathy. This is the diagrammatic um, presentation of the uh, of the of this photo. When we downward displace the 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 upper limb, there is extra pressure exerted by the head of the humerus on the brachial plexus. 
Um, this one is uh, a, a variety of the lateral positions called uh, park bench position. It's used uh, commonly in um, uh, neurosurgical patients. Uh, what we need to do to know here uh, extra on the lateral position is in this position there is an extra pressure on the pendant shoulder so we downward place the uh, upper the left upper limb to decrease this pressure on the shoulder it's a case scenario for a male patient scheduled for lumbar fixation operation after attaining of prone positions patient's peak airway pressure was markedly elevated um, um, what do you think about this uh, scenario? Um, we'll, uh, we'll think about the uh, prone position, of course, and uh, attaining prone position. Abdomen is uh, pressed. Uh, however, we, we must um, think in a systemic way uh, when a peak airway pressure might be uh, a pulmonary emplacement, it might be a uh, uh, pneumothorax. So uh, keep in mind that there is other uh, causes of increase in the peak airway pressure. During surgery, the surgeon started to com uh, complain of excessive bleeding. The blood pressure of the patient was 90 over 60, heart rate was 70. What's the first thing to do? Uh, I will uh, go to check the peak airway pressure as this may be an indicative of an abdominal, uh, ab ab abdominal pressure, excessive abdominal pressure leading to increase in the intraabdominal pressure and decrease in the venous return leading to engorgement of the epidural veins which, is, uh, which will be the cause of this excessive bleeding. Would you further decrease the blood pressure? Of course not, it will not help at all. It will uh, decrease patient uh, perfusion of vital organs and uh, uh, bleeding will, uh, will continue to, uh, to be excessive. The patient is scheduled for cerebral aneurysm surgery, is known to be hypertensive. Shortly after attaining the position and the application of Mayfield frame, the patient became hemodynamically unstable and suffered cardiac arrest. What could be the cause of this event? Again, we will talk in a systemic way. There is a cardiac arrest. We will we'll discuss all causes of arrests, 4H and 4Ts, and deal with them uh, as a ALS uh, protocol. Uh, however, I will um, uh, press on something here. Uh, the Mayfield frame is very painful during application. In a hypertensive patient and having cerebral aneurysm, maybe ruptures of this cerebral aneurysm. The pins of the Mayfield frame are very painful. So we have to either do a scalp block, local infiltration, or deepening of anesthesia, or give a short acting opioids, as this is a very painful uh, procedure. The take home message, patient's position should be natural. That can be tolerated if the patient was awake. Put yourself in the patient's shoes. If you can't tolerate this position, the patient will. If you can't, then do something to change it. Thank you. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, for uh, this complicated uh, topic, uh, we showed us, uh, you showed us uh, very interesting pictures. Uh, thank you. Uh, but I have a comment. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 my comment is about uh, the indication for setting position in neurosurgery. Uh, it's not uh, only uh, the old-fashioned surgeons. Uh, there's a, 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 some surgical indication for this position till now. 
Yes, it provides a, a, a perfect uh, surgical exposure. It provides a minimal bleeding. No, no, in the no, no, no. Surgical, surgical, surgical site of surgery. Yes. Infrastructural supracerebellar lesion. The 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 the, the uh, approach for this uh, surgery is sitting position. No, no, no other position will be proper for this surgery. So, so still there is a, a surgical indication. Yeah, for... I, I said it is it's, it's not obsolete. It's uh, minimally used now, um, uh, like you, you said in some uh, um, uh, uh, locations of surgery. Uh, however, uh, some surgeon used to use it in any posterior fossa uh, tumor in any. Uh, 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 CPA tumor for better uh, exposure. Better. Sure, every surgeon will will use uh, will want the position he is accustomed to. Yes, yeah, we have to to deal with all the surgeons. Uh, thank you. Uh, That's it now. No, what to do? That's why we discuss it now, as some surgeon need uh, uh, needs this position. Oh, uh, there's there was a question about how to pro, to pro, to protect uh, from uh, venous uh, air embolism in shoulder surgery. Um, uh, shoulder surgery, um, which is usually done in sitting position. Yes, air um, um, uh, is is more uh, is more feared in craniotomies, as I said, uh, as um, uh, veins are not collapsible uh, of the brain. Uh, however, uh, uh, prevention uh, posts uh, include uh, a proper um, uh, monitoring. Uh, um, uh, avoid hypotension, avoid uh, decrease in the central venous pressure of the patient. Um, early detection um, is the only thing we can do uh, apart from uh, avoiding hypotension and increase in the central, uh, decrease in the central venous pressure. Early okay, detection. Uh, 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 we, 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 all, we should also use the precautions in neurosurgery in, in shoulder surgery. Um, yes. Some of us uh, ignore this uh, bedding of the lower limbs, uh, uh, putting the lower limbs in a higher level uh, at the level of the heart, uh, uh, preloading. Uh, all, all all these uh, can prevent. Uh, and then the instance you did, the, as you said, the instance is very low relative to uh, cranial surgery uh, because of the use of irrigating fluids. The irrigating fluids usually incre increase the pressure in the shoulder, uh, so uh, the insulin embolism is uh, less than uh, uncommon uh, as in uh, neurosurgery. Uh, I, I think no other questions. Uh, thank you, Ahmed.